At the Bladensburg Waterfront Park in the dark of night, when flows inside this 102-inch sewer main are at their lowest, a most unusual contraption is readied for a mission. This is the biggest and most comprehensive inspection project we've done. A 600-pound robot called the Responder somehow manages to stabilize itself amidst the live sewage flows. It's almost like riding the rapids. Inside the massive sewer main, the robot cruises down the line, sometimes hitting choppier waters, capsizing but always recovering and constantly retrieving an amazing amount of data, some 800,000 measurements per minute. Sonar, laser, CCTV, and um, odors. Data, all crucial to conducting a condition assessment not performed in eight years of this critical, not to mention colossal asset. Back in 2004, the only technology available to us at that point was uh, CCTV. And it was CCTV sitting on a raft, not the robot that you see here crawling in the pipe. In effect, you're mapping in 3D the pipe. We have a uh, laser that's anything above the waterline, and we have uh, sonar for anything below the waterline, like as in debris. The laser technology is primarily to um, measure the wall's thicknesses. Um, to kind of gauge how much, uh, if there has been any corrosion within the uh, pipe. I'm certified to code pipe, and I look for defects. So far in this pipe, not too good. Uh, you can see reinforcement. This is where, when they made the pipe, they line it, and uh, it's corroded away. Hydrogen sulfide, a sewer pipe's biggest enemy, eating away at the concrete, but its effect not escaping the robot. On our robot, we have a, an otologer, and what it does, it'll take gas readings, and it'll tell you, you know, through the whole pipe what gases you have, and it gives them an idea of where certain defects are. They can read the gas levels and tell maybe what, what was the cause. Identifying defects before they cause a failure, that's crucial with a pipe of this size sitting in the Anacostia levee. You're thinking of a 102-inch pipe. You can have a crater that's, you know, 10, 10, 15, 20 feet deep along with live sewer flows. So um, human safety is an issue, but also if there's a failure, the, the overflows that would definitely flood the Anacostia, breach of the levee, that's, uh, those are major issues um, that, that affects the environment. Back in 2007, WSSC narrowly escaped a catastrophe when a 66-inch sewer main in Hyattsville failed. The culprit? hydrogen sulfide, causing the pipe to collapse, but fortunately not damaging the environment. That emergency spurred it for me. This is our first uh, initiative under the new large diameter inspection program. Being very proactive here, it's, it's the way to go. And with a price tag of $500,000 for the inspection. Well spent, um, as opposed to millions of dollars in an emergency. I've lost some sleep thinking about this, this uh, these inspections. Um, we've gone through several iterations of how things are going to go. Planning for this inspection has been two years in the making. As you can see, it's a huge project. Safety is a major issue. Specially trained experts on standby as the inspection unfolds. Right here we have uh, atmosphere problems, so we have to monitor the atmosphere with our equipment. If somebody needs to go down to retrieve the robot, and we're here standby in case something happens to that entrant. Definitely a team effort, uh, well planned. All of the planning paid off. A perfectly executed inspection of the nearly half mile of Maine produced an abundant amount of data, all pointing to one finding. The inspection showed that the deterioration was um, almost consistent throughout the entire length of pipe that was inspected. We've lost up to two inches in some cases, maybe even a little bit more. The big problem is that steel cylinder that provides uh, the strength of the pipe. It will then be exposed to hydrogen sulfide and can be attacked. With the structural integrity of the pipe at risk in this environmentally sensitive area, the focus now turns to rehabilitation. A few environmentally friendly techniques, two in particular, being carefully considered. Both are trenchless. One is a slip liner where you actually take sections of a new pipe and uh, literally slip it into the old pipe. Um, that's one technique. The other one is some type of uh, grout in place liner uh, where you would, you would uh, put a, a liner inside the pipe and grout it in, in place. Diaz's team will select the best option and then hand off the project he's carefully guided for the past two years.
the repairs are going to be in a, in a completely different group. Um, and so the sleepless nights will be somebody else's. <laughs> But there are more inspections in Diaz's future as WSSC hones in on its largest and most critical wastewater assets.